Hello, Your Worship and Council. Thank you for this opportunity to present. My name is Kerry Tarasoff. I'm a registered professional planner in the province of Saskatchewan and Canada. I'm a registered technologist, and in a previous life, I was a fully trained chemical defense officer for the military, and I ran the section at CFB Cold Lake. Today, I need to talk to you about the USASC plan because the current USASC plan overlaps the University Heights sector plan, and there hasn't been proper provision for safety in the University Heights sector plan, and it hasn't been addressed for a number of years now that I've been presenting to you. So please follow along. Currently, the University Heights sector plan has errors around the chemical buffer for land use and also putting the bridge right through the buffer itself became a problem because now you have walking paths and things to the Miwasan Trail that are connected to it. So this is the edge of the University Heights sector plan. The next plan that we're looking at is the USASC plan, which has been released. And the north edge of this buffer is specifically a problem because it overlaps with the University Heights sector plan. So here's the two plans put together. This is the overlap section right now between the two plants. And it's along the river bank specifically, which is a problem because we're working on future plans for the Mwasan Trail. And currently Mwasan Trail on the, on the west bank goes through the chemical buffer, which it shouldn't. And that hasn't yet to be addressed. So we need to start planning ahead for the east bank connections on Mwasan Trail to make sure that we don't again go through the chemical buffer. For reference, this is the chemical buffer and there's where the Chief Mistawasis Bridge is where you have a bike path and a walking connection. The problem is again, it's within the chemical buffer and public assembly is prohibited within the chemical buffer. So those are problematic. This new development to take place with this March extension into the previous plan needs to be addressed properly, and it hasn't been. And for whatever reason, they've extended the boundary into the University Heights sector plan. And now we're going to be trying to catch up later on with planning to fix problems. We need to look further ahead as to how we're going to divert around these chemical buffers with trails and other development and make sure that we don't replicate the problems we've already created on the West Bank. I need you to take this seriously, please. This uh, is a life and death buffer. This isn't just a, a, a hazard, like a nuisance. It's a real thing to protect your life. And we need planning to take place so that all the subsequent planning falls in line with the safety required for this area. I please ask that you look at this. I'm open for questions if you have any. Thank you very much for this.